going after the personal wealth of those closest to President Vladimir Putin is the best way to hold Russia to account over the alleged attempted assassination and new detention of opposition leader Alexei Navalny, says London-based Kremlin critic Bill Browder. Navalny returned to Moscow on Sunday for the first time since he was poisoned with a nerve agent over the summer. Upon his arrival, a Russian court ordered that Navalny be detained in jail for 30 days, his spokesperson said. Browder, an American hedge fund manager who fought a long and bruising battle with Russia following the death of his lawyer Sergei Magnitsky in 2009, told Forbes that, sanctions on Russia and on Russian individuals, will hurt Putin, and could help influence the outcome of Navalny's controversial detention. Western governments, particularly the US, have realized that Putin holds his money through oligarchs. Browder said over the phone Monday. The best way of hitting Putin is to hit the oligarchs closest to him. In a tweet Monday quoting Vladimir Asherkov, an ally of Navalny, Browder circulated the names of potential billionaire targets, including Roman Abramovic, net worth, $13.9 billion, the owner of Chelsea Football Club and former Arsenal stakeholder Alisher Yuzmanov, net worth, $16.2 billion. Representatives for both billionaires have not replied to a request for comment. In 2018 seven Russian billionaires were sanctioned by the US as well as 12 companies and 17 senior Russian government officials. The sanctions arrived in the wake of allegations of U.S. election interference in 2016, criticism over Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 and the supplying the Assad regime in Syria with weaponry in 2015. Browder says the sanctions, sent shockwaves through Moscow, and were, probably the most effective set of sanctions ever imposed. A new but similar policy should be followed globally, he says, adding that, there is an absolute consensus amongst world leaders without reservation and without delay that Navalny's arrest is an outrage. I'm sure that the consensus will lead to policy action, quickly against Putin and his regime. The plight of Russian opposition leader Navalny has caught the attention of the world. Navalny's 30-day jail sentence came after a hastily arranged trial at a police station in Moscow. Navalny was found guilty of breaching the terms of a 2014 suspended sentence during a period when Navalny was in Germany recovering from an alleged assassination attempt. A statement Monday from the Russian Foreign Ministry claimed that Navalny had been detained over multiple violations of his probation terms. In December 2014 Navalny was found guilty of fraud and money laundering and given a suspended sentence of three years, six months. The European Court of Human Rights ruled in 2018 that the arrests prior to the 2014 conviction were unlawful and arbitrary. The charges were seen by some as politically motivated, 